What's up, Virgo? Welcome back to my channel. And if you new, what's up? Come on in here, hop on the couch, kick your feet up, relax, and enjoy yourselves, boo. Grab your weed, blunt cigarettes, drink fruit water. Hell, I don't give a fuck just to you. But allow me to say thank you to all my beautiful subscribers for all the love and support that you show me. Thank you so much. Because you don't have two boobs and you do. And that, for that, it truly means the world to me. Thank you, my lovely Virgos. Y'all know I love my Virgos. All right, my lovely Virgos. We're back with another reading. We're getting some messages on what's currently going on in your love life. So let's get it started. Some of y'all definitely dealing with a Libra. One more. Hold on, let me get my Florida water. Get my Florida water. Y'all should get you some. Oh. All right, Virgo, let's see what we got. Damn. Y'all yeah, saw that? I saw that. Mm -hmm. I saw that. That. Let's see what we got here. Bottom of the deck, we got secret admirers. So somebody is admiring you in the back scene, behind the scenes. Okay, hold on. Let's see what we got here. All right, we got boundaries. Ooh, hold on. What's going on with this itching? What's going on with this itching now? We got boundaries. I'll be looking at my nails because I know y'all be looking at the details and shit. I got to heal my nails. Them damn fake nails. Mess my goddamn nails up. We got life partner. Flow. Ooh, ooh. No. Okay, leaving. Deception. Hold on, let me fix this. All right, somebody you left because they was very deceiving. Okay, you had to set boundaries to, with this motherfucker because they, you know, they was just, just sneaky. Just had too many deceptions about themselves, so you had to go. All right, but now seems like some of you guys moved. This could have been a life partner, you know what I'm saying? But some of you guys moved on with a person that you flow well with. You know what I'm saying? They could be your life partner. Okay, why this person, this old person is, like I said, is mine, you in the background that you left from a distance, okay? But, you know what I'm saying? Now you got your life partner and everything is flowing and shit. But, uh, yeah, this other person is still holding on, admiring you and shit from a distance, okay? We're gonna leave this right here. Yeah, you, you had to leave. You tried to make it work. So I know my Virgos, y'all be trying to make shit work. Y'all go above and beyond, especially with people y'all have no business with, okay? But I'm glad you finally left and finally drew some boundaries with this person that was constantly deceiving you because you found your life partner. And everything is going smooth. Everything is flowing. You know what I'm saying? How it's supposed to flow. Let's see what's going on. And this could be you. Flip the robes. You know what I'm saying? This is a general message. So this could be you. Fit it how it may fit in your life. And you could also thought this person that you left was your life partner. You know what I'm saying? But things didn't flow right. You had to draw boundaries. I ain't admiring you from a distance. What is coming? Not be 
messing with my Virgo. your feelings back from somebody that's stressing crying at night having sleep this nice can't eat can't sleep they be playing shit over and over in their head yeah we got eight of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn so this person is um ready to put in the work in the relationship they're ready to focus on you but uh, for some of y'all look like y'all focus on y'all selves in a lot of work all right we got the queen of pentacles you could be dealing with this queen of pentacles all right but this could be you but this person sees you grounded down to earth financially successful and stable all right you focus on your bag you could be wearing pretty you could wear pretty dresses if you're women you know because this could be male counterpart too there is no gender in tarot all right some of y'all can own rabbits Yeah, we got the Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, you had to walk away from this person because this was a painful, you had, it, was, it was just too painful. It was just too much, okay? And you had to move the calmer waters, okay? It was just too much going on. We got the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, yeah, this person... You can be dealing with this king of pups. King, king of pups. <laughs> king of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, this person is uh, madly in love with you. Even though, what's, what's going on with the light? Why is that light going in and out like that? What the fuck is going on here? Well, that was crazy. I guess the spirit doing that. It's funny. It's going in and out. Maybe that's how y'all relationship was. Maybe that's how they were. In and out your life. Up and down and shit. But yeah, this person... Uh, is madly in love with you, okay? And, uh, yeah, even though they don't carry their feelings on their sleeves, they are madly in love with you. They, uh, even though they don't express, express it, this person has a lot of feelings for you. Some of y'all, y'all could have went towards a king of cups. All right, we got the two of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, this person is uh, waiting for you to open up and come forward. All right, they waiting by the phone. You see, she waiting by the phone. Like, right, when is mother gonna call? Hold on, it's still on the floor. Hold on now. All right, we got the page of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, yeah, this person is ready to sweep you off your feet and make things more committed, even though they're trying to come in as a page. You know, that's a very small offer. Yeah, we got the Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person, you blocked this person, okay? And this person has been feeling stuck and trapped. All right, but you blocked them because they was just too, they, they was doing too much deception, you know? Wear the mask and shit. Just doing too much. Life was painful with this person. And now they feeling stuck and trapped all in their head. We got the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So yeah, this person wants to come and invest now because they know you invested a lot in the relationship. Like I said, y'all be going above and beyond and shit. All right, be going above and beyond. And especially to at a half of the time to people that don't even deserve your love, your time, and your damn affection. That's why you had to walk away because this damn shit, the, shit, the shit was painful. You was doing too the goddamn much. All right? And they realized that. They've been reflecting on the relationship. They've been reflecting on what they was doing and what they wanted, wasn't doing. And now they want to come in and, uh, and invest. And they waiting patiently, too. 
Okay, waiting patiently. Well, she's sitting up there waiting patiently for them goddamn plants to grow. You so you just gonna sit there and watch that goddamn plant grow? Really? You just gonna sit there and watch the plant grow, right? Y'all know how uh, slow a plant grow. You can't sit there and watch that motherfucker, but this motherfucker sitting there watching them plants grow, waiting patiently like a motherfucker. Yeah, we got the Six of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, yeah, this person still sees a successful relationship with you, okay? You could be very popular, okay? In the public eye and shit. Uh, get a lot of attention. Yeah, we got the Hermit card, uh, Virgo. This is you, yeah. So yeah, you took some, um, you withdrew your feelings from this painful situation. Like I said, it was just fucking painful, just hard and fucking painful with this person. But this person has been so, so, so searching and so reflecting on the situation a lot. Hell yeah, you see how they sitting there looking at the goddamn plant grow? They got patience like a motherfucker. So yeah, they've been so reflecting on the situation a lot. Okay. Yeah, you make this person happy. This person, um, or you could found your happiness. Like I said, you could have moved on to your happy to somebody that makes you happy now. Uh, 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 even though this person feels like you make them happy, and uh, they feel like you're their one of true love, the one and only. Okay, and you bring out the kid in them. They feel a joy, abundance with when they're around you. Okay, and they're ready to give towards the connection. They're ready to feed their energies to only you, and uh. Not feed them to other things and other people anymore. They're ready to be generous towards the connection. Okay? They know you're looking for karma, justice, hell, revenge for what they was doing. Yeah, because they was wearing false masks and just deceiving you like it was crazy. Like it was nothing. nothing. All right? But, yeah, they want to rebalance. They want to rebalance their relationship. They want to bring balance back into the relationship. Like I said, they've been waiting patiently, boy. Yeah, and this person wants to give you a brand new uh, emotional beginning. And their cup is overflowing. What's going on with all this itching? What's going on with all this itching now, spirit? Going on, I was itching. Are y'all itching? Yeah, I'm itching. Yeah, this person um been reminiscing about you, thinking about the good times you guys shared and had. They ain't even tripping on the fucked up shit. They just focus on all the good shit. There could be children involved. They may be bringing you flowers and shit. But yeah, um, this person wants a family with you. If you guys don't already have a family, you're there to, uh, happily ever after. You, you everything this person ever wanted. Even though this person stressed you out. Stress you out like shit because you carry you you carried a lot of responsibilities you carried a lot of burdens in this relationship and it depletes your goddamn energy like I said stress you the fuck out but I see you release those burdens mm -hmm. maybe some of y'all like I said is happy in a new goddamn relationship okay and excited you feel excited and happy about this goddamn new uh, relationship mm -hmm. yeah that's what that's what it says yeah you put your uh, wish fulfillment you found somebody that's your wish fulfillment this is not for everybody. It's not for everybody, okay? Let me get you an advice card and I'll leave it here. Pretty is my favorite one of my favorite cards. This lotus flower unfolding. It's so pretty, y'all. Isn't it so pretty? It's so pretty. All these cards are pretty. Let me read it for you and I'll leave it here. I like that card. It's one of my favorites. What's all this itching? It's the itching. Your spiritual unfoldment is occurring, at, occurring, occurring, what the hell is occurring, occurring at all times, whether or not you are aware of it. It is inevitable, as long as, it is an inevitable, an ev y'all know that word, as long as you put your trust in the hands of the creator, the one who holds the light, the light of the lotus, your soul is always reaching for the light in the full, in this full, fulfill its karmic destiny, but even in the process, there are periods of 
darkness at, and time to rest. It is a natural cycle that cannot truly be coerced or haltered. It has an in it rhythm, a rhythm of its own and one that is unique to the being that is you. You do not need to strive or be driven by spiritual ambition. It is not do good to force growth upon yourself or others for that matter. Allowing is the key here. Allowing the place in you that naturally wants to follow the light to do so while recognizing that even when you have complete faith, you will face challenges and occasionally suffering. Your steady faith and love will guide you on the journey of returning to the light. Yes, love. Yes. All right, well, that's why I'm going to leave it here. And if this resonated with you guys, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs up. If not, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs down. I really don't give a fuck as long as you take heed to the message. All right? So thanks for watching. Until next time, it's all this itching. Same bad time, same bad channel. All right, deuces.